And to get a better sense of what these terminologies mean, I'm joined from Aman by the UNHCR spokeswoman, Rula Amin. Rula, good to see you. What is the difference? We're talking about all these categories of economic migrants, refugees, and certain countries being declared as economic migrant destinations when, in fact, they are facing conflict. What is the difference then between a refugee and an economic migrant? There's a big difference, and, the, and this difference actually have consequences on these people's lives and their entitlements. In UNHCR's definition in international law, a refugee is, uh, are people who had fled war, violence, and persecution from their countries. They crossed international borders seeking safety, and there's a threat on their lives and their well-being if they return. They cannot return. They are at risk. And these people, there's a whole international regime of protection for these people. They are entitled to many things. The, the states, the countries, have an obligation towards these, this category of people. Migrants, on their hand, are anything that does not include refugees in this, according to this framework. Migrants are people who leave their countries seeking better life, maybe to find a better job, a family reunion, education. And one major difference is that they can go back to their country and enjoy the protection of their governments. And the other major, and why this choice of words is very important, why is it important to make this distinction, is that countries have different obligations if the person is a refugee or a migrant. A refugee is protected by international law. Countries have an obligation to treat refugees and give them certain rights. Migrants are subjected to local, national immigration laws, and they don't enjoy the same kind of protection. And that's why it's so important to make this distinction between refugees and migrants, especially with the media, because it has an impact in shaping the public discussions and the narrative. Okay, let's take a case study then. Let's talk about a country like Afghanistan. A lot of countries in Europe, we had this report of a 106-year-old woman on a deportation list being from Afghanistan. The Afghanis who are fleeing from Afghanistan violence there say that they are refugees. But a lot of countries don't consider them Afghani, Afghanis or Afghani nationals as refugees. So how do you explain that? I've read a little bit about this specific case, and I can't comment on this specific case because I'm not aware of all the circumstances. I'm not aware of the legal arguments that the governments are making in order to send this woman back. If this woman had fled her country because there was a risk on her life, because there's war in her country, and she cannot go back, she's a refugee. She is entitled to asylum, or at least she's entitled to certain rights until UNHCR try to find what we call is a durable solution, which means either a resettlement to another country or integration in the place she's in, or uh, to be able to return to her country in safety and dignity. Until that happens, she's entitled not to be sent back. That's one of the main things why we emphasize the need to make this distinction, because refugees have the right not to be sent back to their countries, especially when the war or the reasons for fleeing are still there, whether it's conflict or persecution. So what happens then? And why haven't you been able to convince European countries specifically not to send people who might be facing danger in their home countries just by labeling them as economic migrants? Well, in general, European countries have signed on to the 1951 Declaration, which makes them have an obligation towards these migrants and towards these refugees, I mean, not the migrants. Uh, what are the specifics of this exact case? I am not aware. What I know is that we advocate all the time and on constant basis. A refugee should not be sent back to their original country as long as the reasons for fleeing is still exist. If this person is a refugee, and she's entitled to that status, UNHCR would be advocating for her not to be sent back to her country because there is a risk on her life. Rula Amin, thank you for joining us from Oman. Thank you.